This video was originally supposed to be about how to properly fit a respirator mask. But to do that, I'd have to shave my beard. And that's where I draw the line. So to compromise. My name's Troy Maris, I'm here with Power Pack, and today we're talking about respirator filters. We get a lot of questions about which respirator filter to use and when to use it. So let's clear the air. We've got three primary types of filters here. First that I've attached on this mask is your baseline P100 filter. Now P100 is the best particle filtration you can get. That's right, we've got your backs here at Power Pack. So if you're doing something like asbestos or lead abatement, then these are the filters for you. Now this next filter, it's a P100 OV. OV stands for organic vapor. Now this filter will protect you from harmful fumes. You'll use this if you're working with, say, paint thinners or solvent-based epoxies, turpentine, things of that nature. These P100 OVs are really popular in the paint-related fields. This last filter, the P100 multi-gas, will protect you, as the name suggests, from a multitude of gases, such as ammonia, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen sulfide, as well as other organic vapors. Granted, the dedicated organic vapor filter will do a better job at filtering out the specific gases and fumes that it's rated for. Doesn't mean this multi-gas is any slouch because it still provides more than adequate protection in a lot of environments. You'll likely find these filters commonly used by workers in the drilling and refinery industries, uh, maybe the wastewater treatment, plastic production, or rubber and textile workers, just to name a few. And that's it. You can pick the filter you need based on the hazards you'll likely be exposed to. Thank you for watching. Be sure to visit powerpack.net to learn more. And until next time, stay safe.